Chifanise and Anatolia Mushaya are basically involved in AIDS education activities as part of their routine everyday work, but come together for meetings of the Women in AIDS Support Network to share ideas and their experiences. But as a women's group, we also have to take on board the attitude that people have had, for instance, of women as people who spread the infection. Okay. When it comes to attitude towards AIDS itself, it makes it even more complicated because as Sunanda said, um, the impression that we have is that it's, it's, it's a women's disease and women cause it. And until society itself um, adopts the attitude that it's everybody's responsibility, um, even, if, even if people want to change and on, on an individual basis, if society at large remains blaming one's one group of society, I think the, the problem would be difficult to handle. As Zimbabweans, we need to unite as women in society, in the community. We mustn't also adopt a defeatist attitude that we are not going to do anything about it. It's our responsibility and we need to work together as a family. The Women in Aid Support Network was primarily set up to to give women information on how they could protect themselves, but also to try and foster a more supportive atmosphere towards women who are already infected. We found that many of the women who find that they're HIV positive were very isolated, were very stigmatized. Uh, many of them lost their jobs if they were childminders or whatever, and had very little to fall back on. And we felt that really a lot of the suffering they were going through was as a result of the kind of prejudice that was prevalent in, in our society at the time. So we really set out to try and counterbalance that. We focus our, our activities as, as a group of uh, women standing for women's rights. We focus our activities uh, on women carrying out the action. Maybe we also need to involve the men, you know, maybe formulate strategies where we involve men in order to empower us. Do we really expect, if, if men are in a position of power, do we really expect them out of the kindness of their hearts to, <laughs> to empower us, you know, when it might be to their disadvantage? And in a sense, that's why we've tried to focus on empowering ourselves, of actually saying that we have to take our strengths and build on them. Sagandagano <laughs> <laughs>